Today, I recreated Bob and Battlefield from Super Mario 64 in Minecraft. So I booted up Super Mario 64, took a video for reference, booted up Minecraft, made a new world, and recreated Bob and Battlefield. Here's how. So I recorded a video of me just fooling around checking out Bob and Battlefield, and I have a 3D model. I'm gonna use 3D model for the basic layout and for the details I'm gonna use my video I recorded. Let's first start with the beginning of the level. I have a rock thing right here with a hole in the middle. I decided to use just some cobblestone. For the pink bulbums, I decided to use a piece of pink concrete with a little brown candle on top. For the pathway, I used coarse dirt and added some grass on the side. For the bridge, I was having an argument in my mind if it should be jungle or acacia, but I looked at the color and I decided to make it jungle. But underneath the bridge, to the left, there is a bunch of dirt. So I had to use coarse dirt instead of real dirt, or else the dirt would turn into grass. So I made the giant part of land that's beside the beginning. I don't know what to call it, but it's the part that leads you to the mountain. In the real game, the sides are kind of curved and you can't walk up them. So for now, I'm just going to make a hill out of grass. I know you can see the dirt, which looks ugly, but... What else do I do? I'm on bedrock condition. I can't do the full grass blocks. Obviously, the wall wasn't going to be high enough for the entire Bob and Battlefield, so I was going to mess around with it. At the beginning, there's also a cannon, so for the actual cannon part, I used some blue concrete, and for the sides, I used some stained glass panes. And for the top, I put a black carpet to represent the hole in the cannon. So after I made the bridge, I started making the trail that goes over to the mountain. There's a little flower patch over here past the bridge that teleports you. I don't know exactly where right now, but for this, I just used some dandelions and alliums, and that seemed good. So right beside the dirt part, there's a big stone slide, kind of, if you would call it that. This is gonna be complicated because it's curved in a Minecraft. You can't have anything curved, so I'm gonna have to do a lot of terrain building for this. I started with a base, and I'll do the rest later. Now it was time for filling this entire thing in with coarse dirt. In the command section, coarse dirt isn't there, so I'm gonna have to manually fill it all in. But you know what is there? Air. air, air, air. I can get rid of the grass and fill it with air so I can save half the time. I realized that this part was taller than this part, so I added an extra layer of grass on top of the part that's higher. Now I started making the cave. Because the cave is angled, it's gonna look even worse. So I started building the arches that are at both ends, but I tried to line it up, but it's not how it works. So I started making the outside walls. Now I'm gonna have to make the top, and because it's a cave and it's arched inside, it's gonna be really hard. I started making the walls on the inside and adding a ceiling. Time for the big reveal. <laughs> At the end of the cave, there's some bars that can be opened up by a purple button on the inside. So obviously bars will be replaced with iron bars. And for the purple button, I used some purple glazed terracotta and some copper slabs. It doesn't look the best, but it's Minecraft. You're limited. After I was done the cave, I started working on the giant slide. So it's kind of complicated, but I make it higher every two blocks and I make it a little bit shorter every block, like a trim kind of. So the finished product isn't the best. It looks like this, but it's the best I can do. At least it doesn't look like the chain chomp shown later in the video. Now for the mechanical thing, I don't know what to call it. I use some prismarine slabs and some trimmed acacia wood. And for the bottom, I use some deep slate. I started continuing the trail that goes over to the bridge that leads you to the part near the mountain. And now for the part with the chain chomp. I built the inside and again, I used some iron bars to protect the star. But sadly, I'm not gonna actually be adding any stars, but it's fine. Now for the chain chomp. For the stump, obviously I used an oak log. But for the chain, I tried using actual chains, but that didn't turn out well at all. So I just resorted to using iron bars. And now is the part with the chain chomp. I tried so many different ways with this, but it kind of looks like the ender yeah. dragon. Here's the big reveal. <laughs> so I started making the bridge that leads you over to the start of the mountain. Again, I used jungle slabs. And for the part holding up the bridge, I used some deep slate wall. For the bushes, I decided to use some spruce leaves because that's what looks best. Again, there's two more flower patches over here near the mountain. Now I started making the dirt slant that leads up to the part near the mountain. It wasn't as hard as making the stone slide, but it is still kind of hard. Now for the actual mountain, the best part of Bob and Battlefield. I started making the grass part beside the mountain, but there is a dirt part right where the entrance is with boulders rolling back and forth trying to hit you. But there is another set of bars right in front of the mountain and there's only one small entrance. 
So for the base and the top, I use some deep slate walls. And for the middle, of course, I use iron bars. In the actual game, the mountain trail goes right beside the stone slide. So now I started making the foundation of the mountain trail that leads up to the top. But I made a huge mistake that I can't really fix because that would take too much time. I forgot an entire level. <laughs> So after the second level, I started making giant dirt walls that lead down to the first trail. So I started with filling the battlefield at the top, then started filling in the trails with coarse dirt. I realized there's some railings right here, so I added that. The dirt trail without the grass on the inside looked kind of ugly, so I added one small layer of grass. Now it's time to make King Babal. For his feet, I used end stone stairs. And for his basic body, I used some black concrete and made it the same shape as the chain chomp. I don't want to brag, but the part with his crown, I kind of made it big brain. I added a barrier, which is an invisible block that in survival mode, no one can break or interact with. Then I added some yellow banners on the side. You have to admit, it looks kind of cool. I used endstone slabs for his hands, but it looked like he was dancing or T-posing. So I replaced them with endstone blocks instead. For his mustache, I used some quartz slabs that actually turned out pretty good. For his eyes, I used stone buttons, but I realized that looked ugly. So I did the same thing with a chain chomp and added some glow item frames. Because I missed an entire level on the mountain, I had to cut some corners. So underneath him, I made that little cave thing. But I realized this part of the mountain didn't match up with the dirt part of the mountain. So I had to do some terrain improvements. So I started making the slide that goes back down to the beginning of the mountain to get the red coin, but of course in Minecraft you can't slide down anything. It turned out pretty decent. I had to do some terrain changes again with the slide to make it look better, but it wasn't that much. In the cannon right beside the floating island, I realized I couldn't put a cannon in the middle because it would turn out like this, so I made it a little bit bigger. And the same thing for the beginning of the level, I used the same cannon. I finished the grass over near this part underneath the floating island. I added some bushes and a sign. Now this was the hardest part, adding the walls. I had a lot of adjustments made and it was just super hard overall, so I don't wanna bore you. But after 40 minutes, I did it, yay! I was finished all the terrain, so now it's time for the details. For the big boxes, I used some jungle planks. And for the small boxes, I just resorted to using jungle slabs. And for the signs, of course, I just typed random stuff on there. And for the Goombas, I got brown concrete, with a spruce sign and made a little face on it, then added a flower pot on their head and a little mushroom to represent their shape. Bruh. Laugh all you want, I don't care. For the wing cap box, I just used some red concrete and used a spurt shine because the writing is white and added some exclamation marks, Bruh. but it's really tiny in Minecraft, so it looks really bad. Plus in Bob and Battlefield, there's a lot of trees. So I had to plant trees and give them little trimmings to make them fancy. For the Bobums, I did the same thing as the pink Bobums, except I replaced the pink concrete with the black concrete. I had some more Goombas and trees around the map, added some signs with arrows and random writing. I did the part near the beginning of the mountain with the four logs. But one time I planted a tree and this little beehive popped out. So sadly I had to kill all of them and get rid of the beehive. But don't do that in real life or else you're a horrible person. Because in the real game, Bobums actually have eyes. I decided to give them the darkest possible signs with just a little bit of eyes, but still it didn't match. Now for the last part, I added the floating island. I built a big pillar and then broke it. Then I made the shape of the island, which wasn't that hard. Now for the final details. On top of the floating island, there's a tree, a hole, a wing cap box, a sign, and a coin box. For the coin box, I did the same thing as the wing cap box, except I made the red concrete yellow. And for the final part on the birch sign, I added three exclamation marks and pressed the escape key. And with that, like and subscribe. Comment what you think about this video, and I'll see you next week on my new animation. Goodbye.